good evening, good afternoon, well, whatever your time zone is, Derby fans. My name is Punz and Roses. I am joined by... I am Ophelia Mellons. And we will be your broadcast announcers for Game 1 of Championship Weekend. Featuring, as you just heard, the High Rollers versus the Breakneck Bettys. This is going to be an exceptionally exciting game, as you know, Punz, because they both have so much on the line. Betty's going to be going all out tonight. They've yet to put one in the win column this season, and they want it, and they want it bad. Whereas the Guns and Rollers, they're the only team in the Rose City Rollers that have not won a home team championship. They were 3-0, maybe 4-0 in 2020. Yeah, I think about 4-0. 4-0 when we, when we lost the rest of the season to coronavirus. And we're back here, and they are undefeated yet again. So... They're playing for a championship, or for, for all that pride. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mixed up, aren't I? Well, well they I'm will really be excited. in the next bout. All right, we got Polly uh, Wanna Cracker, is your lead jammer, coming in hot. Oh, takes a shoulder from Ripley, gets the call off and three points, and denies Darth Molly any points on that. So first blood goes to the high rollers. So high rollers are one and two this season. And they look in to take down the breakneck Bettys. They uh, this was a 15-point game last time they played in April. And I'm hoping for another close one tonight. All right, we have it'll be Lauren Much in the red, and that would be Trinity three four three in the green. Uh, Much is out first. Trinity right on her heels. Just by a hair. Yeah, Much those. Got that little bit extra speed, but there's the call off. No points for either team. Our a conservative so far. It's a con very conservative call from Much, especially uh, when she's got a full tank of gas there very early. Yeah, but she only had maybe four or five feet. Mm -hmm. And we have a very early team timeout by the high rollers. That's interesting. Very interesting. Well, I, yeah. They got their reasons. It might be uh, not a team timeout. I do see our events coordinator down there. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout out uh, to Deb Counts Tabor. That is the welcome to PDX timeout. Thank you to Deb Counts Tabor, the official realtor of the Rose City Rollers. All right, here we go. That is the end of the official timeout after three minutes. A super exciting three minutes of official timeout. All right, here we go. That is Sci-Fi Curious in the red and Crimson Wave in the green. Sci-Fi Curious looks for the inside line, gets stuffed. Yeah, look at that. Betty's defense shutting it down out front, but it's not enough as Crimson Wave is going to pick up lead. And we've got a direction of play penalty on somebody. That's number 97, oh, Root of All Evil. Oh, that's Sci-Fi Curious out uh, on a track cut. Ah. That's uh, not what the Bettys need right at the beginning of this game. Oh, Ripley, great defense. Slowing up Crimson Wave just enough for the rest of the defense to show up. And Nisbet Smith blows up that. That was very effective uh, uh, defensive work, and they kind of they forced the call off there, and they're only putting up four points that jam on a power jam. So the high rollers are leading seven to zero. Uh, but they do have a power start for the next uh, next jam, and that will be probably one of Cracker. Five second call. We are about to start. Four three pack advantage for the high rollers, and oh oh wow, Bertha beat down. Phenomenal defense, just enough of a hit. Clear path there. Now Polly's going to grab the jammer for the high rollers. And Brute out on a penalty. But guessing Brute did just enough to get Polly out. And a shell put a weld on with a force out and recycle on Polly. They're still hanging out on that jam on Hawthorne jammer line. Oh, Diana hit you, Link. And Big Bang Fury doing a number on Sci-Fi Curious. Polly getting bounced off the back of Simonis. 
feels really like a little slow, like they're skating on molasses here just because the defense is just a machine. Yes, Root of All Evils doing the best. Uh, play some offense there, that jam has been called. It's another 3-0 jam for the high rollers. They're holding it down here, scoreless for the Betty so far. 10-0, high rollers leading in this first period of our runner-up game in the 2022 Rose City Rollers Championships. And we have Trinity back on the line for the high rollers against, I believe that's Danger Potato, 71. Yes, that is Danger Potato. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, Danger Potato. Ah, Ripley holding it down with a tripod in the rear of the pack for the Betty's buying time. And now Danger Potato picking up lead jammer. Danger Potato just sliced and diced that defense. Trinity took that star off, found her way around the outside. And Danger Potato in on the scoring pass. One to beat. There's the call off. And that's how it's done. Ten to four now. First, uh, first blood for the Bettys. We're seeing some amazing play here from Ripley. Here's a fun fact for you. Uh, Raven Evergore and Ripley first started playing roller derby about 10 years ago, but that was out in Fort Collins, Colorado, and they have found themselves back on the same team again. Raven not playing tonight. She's got a family engagement with a very cute baby, but that is just so cool. What a community. That is, and leaving the community of the pack would be <laughs> Lauren Much. Found a Easy outside lane. Mm, Diana hits you on a back block. All right. Wow. Lauren Much lapping Crimson Wave. Much coming in hot and in. There's the call off. Is it in time? It yes. is. Remember when that was an extra point? Yeah. All right. I remember the five point jams. Oh, yeah. Seems like yesterday. Seven point jam for Lauren Much. And we have a lead change. Oh, heck yeah, we do. Another shutout jam there for the high rollers. Scoreless the last two. And our first lead change. The Betty's take it by one. All right, spring roll jamming for the first time for the Betty's up against Polly. Polly, oh, looking for the inside, forced out by Root of All Evil. Cruella and company doing a work number on Polly, but Polly is out, lead jammer. This is Polly's third jam and third lead jammer status. That's impressive. Oh, great offense, there's the call off. Well done. Polly one point, one. But that is an important point. <laughs> yes, because that brings us to a tie. Big thank you to Wild Wild CBD, sparkling waters and edible delights that enhance every moment. Thank you, Wild. I take their CBD packets every night. And they're also the sponsor of our penalty box. Oh, indeed, the Wild CBD penalty box, as it were. Although I don't believe that they hand out gummies in the penalty box. Yeah. That would probably make being in the penalty box a, <laughs> a little, little easier. All right, Trinity. Trinity tiptoed on the line but stayed in. Trinity back in on a scoring oh, pass. That defense with Junie on the inside now dropping back to play offense there for Sci-Fi oh, Curious. Not Just playing kidding. Offense. That's the star pass. That was Super Mario Brothers. Really bad version. All right, Junie with the star, Trinity with lead. There's the call off. Nicely done. Burned off a few seconds of the penalty. So a little bit closer to getting back to a, a full pack. Uh, we're eight jams in so far in this game, and every single jam has been a shutout for the other team. We're just hitting it and quitting it, getting those nickels and dimes. Well, no dimes yet. A lot of nickels. A lot of nickels. Right, 4-3 pack advantage. Looking to take advantage is Danger Potato. Alicia Nisbet Smith shutting that down. Crimson Wave not having a whole lot of luck. 
Lauren Much playing pivot. That's mm. fun to see. We'll lose Alicia to the wild CBD penalty box for a forearm penalty. Swag of and Mayday doing a great job up at the front, but Danger Potato rolls through. Danger Potato, two for two. Danger Potato in. There's the call off. Danger Potato grabs three. three. No pass, no penalty. I call it no pass, no penalty. No problem. No problem. Yeah. A big, <laughs> big thank you to Sizzle Pie, RCR's official pizza partner, Death to False Pizza. Sizzle Pie. Although not getting that point in a game this tight is, uh, that's rough. 15-14 with nine minutes gone. This is great. This is like a chess match. Oh, Junie also goes out. Someone's got to drop back. Well, it buys a good amount of time for Darth Molly to get some speed over the apex. There's the call off. Darth Molly does not stick the landing in time. Ooh. Zero, zero jam. Alicia Nisbet Smith standing in the penalty box. Wanted to be released, but that was the smart call off there by Polly. Why does it smell so delicious up here? Uh, that would be the kettle corn. God. It's yeah. like maple. Yes. <laughs> For those of you who are not here and can't smell the kettle corn, I'm sorry. All right, Trini working to the front of the pack. Rolls around, grabs Lee Jammer. Oh, wow. Ebenezer bruised. Stuff sci-fi curious in the back of that pack. Good thing Bruiser's a double doctor. It's helpful. That is. Four points so far for Trinity. Trinity coming in for another round. Gets Getting plugged up there. Mayday trying to play some offense. Ripley, get out of the way, please. That is the kind of conversation they're having down there. Uh, Casey, were, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what Ripley just said that time. No. Ripley's shoulder did a lot of speaking there. And Bertha B down heading towards the box. Look so at this defense. There's going to be no help coming for Sci-Fi Curious. Unless Sci-Fi Curious ditches the star. Some minute burns so far. Again, high rollers have lead. Man, we got some points up on the board. Sci-Fi Curious tried to do a little behind the back pass on the star, but that didn't oh. happen. Oh, Trinity getting low. And that would be our first double digit jam of the That's afternoon. That's right. Root of all evil was there, just couldn't get the over that line. Trinity taking those points around track, the back again. Track cut on somebody. A forearm now on Trinity with 20 seconds left in this jam. Okay, there's uh, something. All right. What happened? Two jammers went to the box. Oh, okay. Takes you backsies? Yes. Um, Danger Potato does not have the star. The star, I believe, is sitting in front of Danger Potato's bench. All right, there we go. Looks uh, like on our penalty board that Sci-Fi Curious had another track cut there. Gotcha. And that uh, canceled out Trinity's forearm. But that was... A heck of a jam, 14 points up now for the high rollers. That basically doubled their score. Uh, yeah. 29, 14, 17 and a half-ish minutes remaining in this game. And yeah. we have an official timeout, or yeah, official timeout. This timeout brought to you by Dead Counts Tabor. Welcome to PDX, the official re realtor of the Rose City Rollers. We were noticing uh, Bruises excellent blocking, and I was uh, chatting with Bruise earlier, and I was like, "You're you're double the doctor, right?" And they were telling me, "Yeah, they they got their doctorate in both naturopathic medicine and chiropractic medicine." Oh. But not only is it cool to be a double doctor, it's uh, pretty cool to be in double the debt. But I think they might have been being facetious. <laughs> I, I would hope so. Yeah, that's a lot of debt. That would be a lot of debt. But double doctor, that's the coolest thing ever. That is very cool. And it's uh, Ebenezer Bruce, actual badass. 
Big thank you to PBR. PBR is back, baby. Grab one now at the Plow Stop Bar. Plow. You're not here, but uh, pick up a case. Yeah, grab some from your fridge. It's like hydrating. See, if you were here, you could, you could grab a PBR. And you could also grab some popcorn, which smells amazing. Lauren Much coming out. Crimson Wave looking for a lead, but Lauren Much getting low, getting fast. Much is three for three, picking up lead. Much is pretty good, you know. <laughs> He's got some skill. Oh, smart blocking there. It took Much out. Blockers remained in bounds. I always want to do that. And Diana Hitchett <laughs> heading to the penalty box. Well, Shell extending that pack as far as humanly oh, possible. Great work by Shell. A homegrown hero. Much grabs four, calls the jam. They were scoreless in the last two jams. Game now 29 to 18. All right, I give you a fun fact about the high rollers. Let's see, the Bettys. They have like an unusual number of transfer skaters, specifically from Lava City out in Bend, Oregon. Huh. They have like four or five skaters that started out in Bend and all end up on the Bettys. That is fascinating. Yeah. Polly on a cracker is your lead jammer. Spring roll in, not that far behind, not even a quarter of a lap behind. Polly coming in hard, fast. There's the call off. Spring two roll points. grabs two. Wow. Cruella really uh, took the sting out of that momentum. Yeah. I think Polly wanted that uh, call off a little bit faster sure. than she got it. That is a 2 2 jam, so I believe that would be the first time both teams scored on the same jam. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, I was listening you to your stats sometimes earlier. You do listen. I pay attention. <laughs> All right, that would be Trinity and Danger Potato. Danger Potato following Simonas. Great blocks by Simonas. Oh, Brute just buried Danger Potato. Nice work by Bertha Beatdown, giving the whole side of the body there, able to cover like half the track that way. Bertha again comes out in the front, making contact there with Trinity. And Trinity was almost out. Simonis laid the hit, and the rest of the defense followed up. Perfect bridging, calculating every step of the way by Junie. And Betty's just locking it down right in front of that high roller's bench. Of course, it doesn't look fun to be Danger Potato right now either. Yeah, neither Jammer is uh, having a good time. They are both deep in the sad place. A minute has elapsed in this jam. No lead. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, Betty's are going to have to drop somebody. The evolution of derby is so interesting because 10 years ago we were yelling at people in roller derby for not skating, for like taking a knee and manipulating the rules. And here we are and like the evolution has brought us right back here, but it's because we all know how to skate now. Right. So no lead. Uh, yes, Trinity is out, but not lead. Danger Potato still has the opportunity, I believe, to get lead. Oh, and now we're bleeding high rollers blockers into the wild CBD penalty box. Uh, but Brute and no. uh, I believe that's Diana Hitch at the back there doing a great job. Yeah, I would say so. Junie in control up front. All right, here comes Bertha beat down out of the box. Two seconds left. It's not going to matter. Woo. Well, no lead jammer. Three points for the high rollers, though. Yeah. No Great lead. work by Trinity, trusting the defense and going for points. Killer Burger, five minutes to Burger's beer and bottomless fries. Killer Burger. You look real good at that Killer Burger photo shoot. Uh, why, thank you. It's hard to look bad when you've got a burger like that in your mm -hmm. hand. I heard they were like still hot and melty when they got to you too. Yes, yes they were. I did not mind uh, doing a uh, sponsor photo shoot 
photo shoot for Killer Burger, yeah. let me tell you. Like, oh, you want to give me a great burger and just take my picture with it? Sure. sure. Twist my arm. Speaking of arm twisting, wow, that is just ugly in that pack. It's rough. That's rough is what it is. Sci-fi curious. Oh, there some we go. Help. Oh, there we go. That is Crimson Wave to the penalty box. Sci-Fi Curious. Oh, Big Bang Fury, direction of play. Direction of play on Nisbet Smith. There we go. And Sci-Fi Curious is your lead jammer, and there's the call off. Yeah, that's just good coaching over there from the Bettys. Everybody's real tired. Get that call off. Let's get a fresh pair of legs out there. Try and yeah. see a uh, Crimson Wave went to the penalty box, but I don't see what the penalty was assessed. Yeah, I don't see it either. So that'll be our second 0 0 jam. Take a drink. Thank you very much to Black Cat Plumbing, your local neighborhood plumbing company, and a proud sponsor of RCR since forever. Every once in a while I see their trucks as I'm driving around town. I'm like, hey, yeah. Black Cat. I talk about you, and you don't know who I am. Right. Awkward. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a high rollers team timeout. We have Coach Bash chatting it up with our head rep, Extra Crispy and company. Our skating officials are he headed up by Extra Crispy tonight and Amy Farrell Fowler, the wonderful NSOs who make everything happen. If you're interested in volunteering, by the way, check us out, rosecityrollers.com. It is a good time. It is a good time. Okay, we got that penalty on our board now. That was going to be a trap cut for Crimson in this previous jam. And Spring Roll easily getting through. Great uh, blocking by Bertha Beatdown, Simona, Darth Molly. Uh -oh. Right down the middle. Swagatha. Lock, locks horns there, yeah, with Swagatha, but shakes it off. Yeah. Swagatha had a tough road to hoe there, getting <laughs> hit from the jammer and a blocker. Ooh, how was that a, mu a multiplayer? It was know. probably a multiplayer. A spring roll with, well, a roll. Four more there. Yeah. This could be the Betty's first double digit jam. Spring roll digging in, not resetting. If, yeah, not if Alicia has anything to do with it. Yeah. There's, my, there's a few in the hole right now already, so. Yeah. She's got it. Darth Molly digging in, trying to play some offense. Nisbet Smith says, hi, meet my shoulder. Minute has elapsed again. Spring roll lead. Spring roll rolling off the back at Bertha Beatdown. Gets through. There they go. 12 points so far. First double digit jam of the game for the breakneck Bettys. And it comes at a great time. And we have Crimson Wave through on the initial. Spring roll oh, back. Oh, root. Might have picked up a few there, got that called off. Good timing. Spring roll tells, doesn't matter. Hey, I got four points. Doesn't four matter. Um, Agrees. That'll be the biggest uh, scoring jam of the game so far. 16 points for spring roll. And a lead change. Oh, I love that. 36, 34. Second lead change of the game since the sixth jam when it was 10 to 11. And we're right back at it. Polly Warner Cracker on the line for the high rollers. And Polly threw lead jammer. Lauren Much did not get lead. That's unusual. That's the first time in this game. And Much bouncing around. Nisbet Smith. Lose Mayday to the Wild CBD penalty box. Uh, happy birthday to you. That's what you get. It's Mayday's 49th birthday, believe it or not. Wow. And Polly through. All right, going to grab him and call him. We got another lead change. Maybe. Two no. points for much. Wait, we have a tie game? We have a tie game, cool. I think. Yes. Yes, we do. That's a, I'm going to take a 
Underwood Wine Rose Bubbles drink to that. Oh, there you go. And looking at the penalty board, Bertha Beatdown sitting on five wow. right now with 21 minutes gone in the first half. That's right. At seven, you're done. Yeah, that's uh. Hey, can't say that the, they're not playing with intensity. Yes. Those so many times can be very worth it. But you got to dial that back if you want to stay in for the next 40 minutes. All Danger right. Potato picking up lead. Betty's feeling some momentum. They scored 18 points in the last two jams. And Danger Potato calls that off. A little low five for Trinity. Whew. Saying, it's hey, getting, great it's race. Little, is it yeah. getting a little spicy in here? Because, yeah, I think it, it's a little spicy. So I'd like to thank Secret Aardvark, the local made flavor that kicks you in the mouth, just like this roller derby game. The high rollers and the breakneck Betty's tied now. Ooh, speaking of penalties, Big Bang Fury just picked up number four. All right, here we go. Crimson Wave, Sci-Fi Curious are your jammers. And they are barely, barely inching off that jam on Hawthorne jam line. That, uh, yeah. Down a blocker apiece. Both defenses just digging in. Super dug in there. Ripley holding it down on the inside. Giving a nice little hug to Crimson Wave there. All right, that's Cruella has to drop. Mm -hmm. And we do have a call. Forearm. Forearm penalty, that's Ripley. And that is good enough to spring Crimson Wave. Mm, Sci-Fi Curious looking for anything. Crimson Wave back in on a scoring pass. Mm, Junie sweeps across the whole track. Ooh. Crimson bounces back in and now sitting right behind Root of All Evil. Yeah, great and defense Simone by Root of All Evil. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, swag at the Big Bang Fury. Just not letting Sci-Fi Curious go anywhere. High Rollers just really uh, trusting right. the in the defense. All right, Crimson Wave one-on-one -on -one against Simonis. Simonis has to let Crimson Wave go. Took that as long as possible. Uh, a minute and a half for four points? Yeah. Yeah. Worth it. And Simona, star pass. Nope. Uh, What's the call? Is I'm it one of these? Think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we have a jammer penalty. And a choppy. That's the official term for. Uh, no points. No, no. I, yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> that's the official. The, uh, Hand no, no, this one. Face. Is that oh, yeah, illegal procedure? Shop. That's um, illegal contact. Illegal contact. Which is usually like when you usually unintentionally make contact with like a down skater or an out right. of bounds skater. It's not a particularly egregious call. Yeah. Official review now being called by the high rollers. Always, this is a great time to use an official review. Six minutes left in the period. Use yep. it or lose it. Exactly. And this is a great time to mention that uh, Deb Counts Tabor is the official realtor of the Rose City Rollers. Welcome to PDX.com. And it's also a great time to mention that we've got a juniors camp available this summer. There's snacks, there's skates. And if you know a young skater who wants to uh, learn how to play roller derby, this is a great opportunity. Yeah, check it out, rosecityrollers.com. So many great things that you can find on rosecityrollers.com. Seriously. Do you know a business that would benefit by promoting a derby event into RCR members? Email sponsorship at rosecityrollers.com or check out sponsors on rosecityrollers.com. Just find us. It's a good deal. Not, uh, I don't have any speculation as to what this official review is about. I'm not sure if we're going to hear about it. Since it's being called by the high rollers, yeah, I've got no idea. If it had been the Bettys, I would have figured they would have been trying to get that uh, jammer penalty yeah. at first, but 
Senses the high rollers, no clue. Oh, here we go. Upon review, the uh, no call will stand. The breakneck Bettys will not retain their Fisher review for the first half. So it's gone. Okay, I'm not sure what they were reviewing, but uh, the no call stands and... Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, that must have been about SoFi Curious. Yeah. Then, because uh, they are seated in the penalty box for that illegal contact. Oh yeah. So yes. Uh, now the little markers indicating that that was not a high rollers official review. That was a Betty's official oh. review. Okay. That makes much more sense then. All is well. Both teams got two and a half minutes to shake it out. Six and a half remaining in this first period. Oh, maybe it's just their turn now. Well, immediately following this game, we'll take a short break. And at 8 p.m. this evening, it is the 2022 Rose City Rollers Home Team Championship. Three years in the making. And we'll see the... Heartless Heathers take on the Guns and Rollers. So join us tonight. If you're watching at home, thank you so much for purchasing the stream. You, your, your funds help to go towards our junior scholarships, our, our skate library, a lot of great causes. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And uh, a big shout out to Evie for running the camera. Thank you. We appreciate you. We have DJ Mao in the house spinning some tunes. Takes a village. It does. Probably want a cracker looking for that village to help get through the pack. Oh, Shell put a weld on. And Bertha beat down the front of the pack. I heard a whistle. I heard a whistle too, but oh, there we go. All right, lead going to Polly. All right, here comes the high rollers offense. Ooh, Paula coming in fast and hard. And they're right there, tiptoeing through the inside. Four more. That lead up to double digits once again. Ah. Sci Fi Curious picked up the bonus penalty for not leaving the track. Great. Well, they're holding it down, not letting the high rollers run away with it by any means. This Betty's defense is on fire tonight. Nice. Well done. I believe that was Link opened a lane on the inside. Polly took that lane and grabbed four points. Direction of play, penalty being assessed on a high roller. That'd be uh, Diana Hitch, I believe. And, oh, there goes Sci-Fi Curious to the box on a track cut. Yep, got to make sure to enter the track outside of the pack definition. Yes. I think she just came in right in front of that pack, which is like more of a deficit. <laughs> it's an interesting rule. Yes. Holly getting forced out by Bertha Beatdown. And Polly with the call off. Right. Another four, four points. points. Well, cool. Polly has jammed six times and gotten lead every single time. That's impressive. It's extremely impressive. Going up against Much and Spring Roll. I mean, yeah, that's, that's great. 12 Ooh. points there. High Rollers lead 57 to 38. Sci Fi Curious also at five penalties. That happened just uh, pretty quickly here. Yes. Okay. Betty's are scoreless the last three consecutive jams because they didn't have a jammer. Track but cut on Trinity. There we go. Big opportunity. Ripley off for a forearm. Uh, so I'm curious being absolutely sure about returning to the track. Okay, Trinity back on the track. Maybe that was not a penalty on Trinity. Maybe uh, Trinity just misheard that. All right, so Trinity is back. Yeah, that, yeah, they took, they did take Seabaxies. There's Cruella. 
Tried to bridge, but oh, there we go. Lauren Mutch grabbing the star on the star pass. Trinity coming in. Oh, there's the call off. Snagged five, four points. Ooh, 61 to 38 with three minutes left. This is a uh, low scoring game. It really, we were, really is. Uh, and the Bettys have been held at 38 points. Now five jams in a row. Oof. So let's see if they can light that match, blow it up here. You got two and a half minutes going into the halftime. You got nothing to lose. Danger Potato looking to light that match. Up against Crimson Wave. Danger Potato, lead jammer. First lead jam in a while for the Bettys. Since the last time Potato jammed. Oh, all right. Ooh, a little juke juke. Going outside, comes Ooh. back in. Getting around Big Bang Fury. Just next, next to her now. Yes. Now sort of stuck in, getting some offensive help. Is it enough? Oh, Dan, uh, Crimson Wave is through. And there's the call off, four points. For Danger Potato. That's what they needed to do. They just needed to come in, retain that confidence, put a few points up on the board, stop the bleeding. Yes. Stay on the track, they're doing great. Well, we got Spring Roll up against Polywana Cracker. Minute 45 left on the game clock in this first period. That wild CBD penalty box is empty right now. Oh, Polly looking for the inside lane. Ripley denied that. Ooh, root of all evil making gut contact there with the hips on Polly Wanna Cracker. Shakes that one off, picks up lead. Oh, Polly coming in. Great movement with the hips to avoid getting a back block. Civil Disobedience and Company did a great job slowing up Polly. Big thank you to Trailhead Credit Union. Get financial guidance for whatever trail you choose. Trailhead Credit Union. All right, we've got Darth Molly and Trinity as your jammers. Brute riding Darth Molly to the outside edge. Bertha Beatdown just picked up number six. Darth Molly hasn't jammed since the first jam of the game, according to my records. Yeah, Darth Molly's been playing mostly blocker. And we have a star Andy. pass to Simonis. Some people can only turn left on that runway. Some people can do both. <laughs> That's a Zoolander reference. Gotcha. And that is a oh. track cut on Trinity. So the period clock is done, but the jam clock is... It's going to go serve out its full, full time. Yes. There is no stopping the jam there clock. There is no stopping the jam <laughs> clock. You're right. Well, I guess technically it stops when it works oh. out. Wow, Judy, Simonis. right over. No contact. He, that was clean. That was beautiful. Well done. Oh, man, if you can't hear that crowd, turn up the speakers. Simonis coming in. Darth Molly and company engaging at the back. Bertha Beatdown has to let Trinity go. Bertha Beatdown sitting on six penalties, not wanting to get another. Basically need to duct tape your arms together, but those are kind of a mixed bag, three different direction play calls there. Both jammers. Matching points here. Yeah, at eight, eight points each. Simonis goes airborne. I think maybe stuck the landing. 
No, did not get credit for sticking the landing. It's better to, hey, that's a clean call. Yeah. The, the flying Simonis at the end of that, eight points apiece. Actually, uh, three more for the Ooh, high rollers. Oh, 11 points for the high rollers, that so jam. So we go into the halftime, 76 to 50. Okay. Penalty counts are almost even, but of the 17 penalties for the Bettys, two players account for two-thirds of those. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, Sci-Fi Curious, the, uh, a jammer, and then Bertha Beatdown, the captain of the team, putting the work in. Yep. All right, All right we will we'll be back when it is time to come back. See us in like about 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Great. That's it, that's it. Thank you. All right, welcome back. Yes, welcome back. We're at the second period of a very exciting game. The high rollers and the breakneck Bettys score 76 to 50 with the high rollers on top. Looking at some of the numbers from the first half, there's some cool stuff. The highest scoring point uh, jam in the game so far was Spring Roll, who's just been kind of dotted into the jammer line for the breakneck Bettys with a 16 point jam. But for me so far, the MVP is gonna be Polly who has been lead seven of seven jams and scored in every single jam that they've skated in. Uh, uh, 29 points that I, I count so far. That's, That's pretty impressive. amazing. That's over a third of the uh, points for the high rollers right there. Yes, it is. Uh, we're getting going here. No one in that wild CBD penalty box. Let's play roller derby. It's uh, Polly and Darth Molly on the line. And Polly, that would be eight for eight. Darth Molly, though. And the pack is moving up into that pivot line. Darth Molly showed some great situational awareness. <laughs> All right. That was, that, was, that was pretty good. That thank was pretty you. Thank good. you. Four points there for Polly. Or, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Polly. 4 0 oh, takes us 80 to 50. Nice round numbers. And penalty numbers are fairly close 17 for the Bettys. 16 for the high rollers. The difference is the Bettys 11 of 17 are just two players. The refs just probably don't like them. Yes, They're, I think I that's, mean, <laughs> no. that's totally it. Our like best trained ever very professional refs. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, lead jammer going to Lord Much. Trinity pulling the cap. And Bertha Beatdown heading out for the final time. Uh oh. And move into the outside of turn one. We get a force out. Lauren Much looking at the bench, taking the time for call off. Killed as much as many seconds as they could, even though I'm not sure that they're going to be coming back onto the track. Is yeah. that six or seven? That. Uh, the board still says six, but since Bertha beat downs in the box, there must have been a People seven. People are pointing. Yep. And yep. there's the skate off and the replacement. Uh, is this our, our first foul out of the 2022 season? It might be. I can't recall any you others. Guys play, everybody's playing so clean. All right, that is illegal contact, speaking of, on May Day. And there we go, Danger Potato. Lee Jammer, Crimson Wave. A little bit under a half lap behind. Danger Potato mashes in. Two points up there for the Bettys. Three points. Three points. Better. And the Bettys need any points they can get. They are down 24 at this point. With the you know, 27 and a half minutes left, so that is certainly not an insurmountable lead. Thank you to our new sponsor, United Athletic Club. They are where fitness happens in Southeast Portland. Many classes are taught by our very own Bro City Rollers skaters. Thank you, United Athletic Club. Right, we got Spring Roll and Polly. Both jammers testing towards the outside. Spring Roll with the force out. Plays a little jammer defense. I'm not sure I'd be playing jammer defense at this point. Oh, Simonis. Drops Polly, and Spring Roll grabs Lee Jammer. First time Polly has not gotten lead. And Diana Hitcha tries to get a hold of Spring Roll, but Spring Roll is through. 
in a wanton display of skating skill. <laughs> be yeah. proud, be proud. <laughs> yeah, you saw it there. Your name is puns for a reason. Yeah. All right, spring roll, bounce to the outside. There's the call off. Cool, four more points there for the Bettys. So three leads in, in a row. And yeah. picking up some points here, picking up that momentum. They bring it ever so close, 64 to 80, with 26 remaining in the game. And we have Danger Potato once again up against Trinity. Potato. One player down in the penalty box for the high rollers. Uh, that is Brute standing, though. You know when Brute stands, you're in trouble. Yes. Trinity looking for anything, praying for an opening, but not getting it. No. Nope. Here comes Brute to play some offense. Potato just can't get any purchase on that track. They're just kind of squeezed right in between there. That's uh, Swagatha and maybe Ebenezer Would you even say that they've been mashed in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scalloped right down the middle. Danger Potato picking up lead jammer. Would that be That's four, four in a row? row. There you go. See, I do listen to you. Ooh, there we go. Nice shoulder dodge there. Trinity has the hat off. That's... That's a Cruella direction of play penalty. Yeah, I heard a penalty. I'm just waiting to see who skated. There we go, and... This is pretty chaotic. Yeah, Danger Potato calls that with two points. Points are points. They've yep. uh, scored uh, 16 points, lost three jams, picked up lead the last four. And my, my thanks to Rebel Heart Therapy, individual and relational therapy for Portland's black sheep and unicorns. That about covers it. That's yep. it. Rebel Heart Therapy. Thank you. And next up, we've got Lauren Much up against Crimson Wave. Lauren Much bouncing inside, outside, back inside. Grabs Lee Jammer five in a row now for. They are certainly ready for Lauren Much. Oh, oh, just takes Not as ready as they thought they were. That hurt from up here. That yeah. vibration of that contact. And Lauren Much just used it to propel herself forward. Much coming in hot. Oh, Simonis. Great work in the back of that pack. Brute with the force out and recycle on Much. And when Brute pushes somebody out, they're already in your lap by the time you look up. Yeah. And now we're in that knockdown, drag out stage of this jam. Laura Much lead. It's a 10 point game currently. Both, uh, both jammers have points at this point, just not acknowledged yet by the refs. And Four Much more. slid forward on her knees. And. Crimson Wave has pulled the star. Oh, there he goes. This is much as uh, first double digit scoring jam of the game. Yes, which and is we unusual. Have a star pass to Brute. Cool. That's from Crimson to Brute. And Brute. Two. Snakes two. And yep. Much Coach got Sprout three. in on the track wants all those points. Three of them are now held up. 15 point jam for Lauren Much. And uh, would you look at that? It's a five point game. That's uh, this is good stuff. I'm liking this. That's uh, 31 points that they've scored in the last four jams, puns. Wow. Probably want a cracker back in. Spring roll, spring roll grabs Lee Jammer. Is that six in a row? Track cut on Polly. This could be the opportunity the Bettys need to. Oh, spring roll with the nice spin move. Yep. Stays in bounds. And you can hear our crowd again. Everybody loves the underdog. Betty's coming into this game winless so far this season. And they have the taste for blood. They, are, they, they certainly have the talent to win this game. 
Yes. I mean, losing Bertha beatdown hurts, but they're still, uh, they're in it. And we now have a lead change. Uh, we do eight points so far. Here's a few more. Make that a 12 point jam for spring roll. Polly back on the track. Polly through. Spring roll's the one that got the big 16 point jam in the first half of the game. Yeah, spring roll looking to duplicate that. There's the call off. I don't think got the full four on that. But Jamref is a little hesitant. There we go. Two. It's a 14 point jam. Okay. 95 86. The Betty's now mm -hmm. back on top. 45 points now be, have been scored in the last five jams by the Betty's. Wow. And only six points by the high rollers. Now, this is a great time for a team timeout. Everybody's crowded on that jam on Hawthorne jam line. And they're off. Trinity working the outside lane. And there goes Darth Molly. That's the seventh pun. Seven lead jams in a row for the Bettys. Darth Molly. In the back of the pack, there's the call off. And the Bettys wisely just sitting up front, protecting those points. Two more up on the board there for Darth Molly. It's 47 points. That's a 47 point tear, I would say. And that is Danger Potato in the red, up against Crimson Wave in the green. Oh, Crimson Wave getting stuffed at the back of that pack. Swagatha and Nisbet Smith oh. unable to contain Danger Potato. Yeah, Potato sneaks right under that shoulder. Oh, nice seal by Mayday and Swagatha. Free Crimson Wave. Oh, Swagatha. Call off from Danger Potato. Coach Sprout speaking with head ref Extra Crispy. Get some words in. Uh, that looks like zero. a zero zero jam. They they technically stopped the bleeding. Yes. Polly want a cracker versus spring roll. Polly. Yeah, that line was not going to be available to Polly. Yeah. Oh, some hip contact there by Brute, I believe. Lead wow. jammer now being assessed finally for the high rollers. Polly. Uh, pretty much everybody took a shot at Polly. Yeah. Well, this is their first uh, uh, lead jam since the first jam of the second half. And one point for Polly, one point for spring roll. Still an 11 point difference right now. That's incredible. Perhaps they've been taking advantage of WSL leadership coaching, helping you be more awesome in your work, your sport, and your life. Which is basically what Roller Derby is. It's work, it is a sport, and it is a lifestyle. Thank you, WSL leadership coaching. Okay, we got Darth Molly working the outside. 
Trinity also working the outside. Hitting Sybil Disobedience up at the front. Oh, great work. Oh, Ripley with a force out. Big shoulder from Ripley. Trinity looking for any sort of gap in that wall. Uh, Corolla was looking for a penalty against Alicia Nesbitt Smith, but Alicia's skates are always moving in the correct direction somehow. And yes, we've entered this point of the jam. The sad place? The sad place. Wow. Corella trying to break up something, but not a whole lot from the high rollers. Oh. There goes Trinity. Uh, the weasel has popped. This one goes to Trinity of the high rollers. And we have a star pass to Ripley. Cool. Ripples. There's the call off. Is it in time? It is. Wow, four big ones there. 91-99, 17 minutes left. Betty's just barely on top in this game. Thank you to our Sasquatch HR, making nonprofit and small business workplaces better. SasquatchHR.org. Check it out. Crimson Wave, Lauren Mutt. Lauren Mutt looks to the outside. Brute denies it. Mutt bounces inside. Lee Jammer. Crimson Wave, high block. Oh. And there they go. Oh. <laughs> Not it's a got huge wings. apex jump. But got wings. It's enough. Yeah, setting up way before that apex is very wise when it comes to skaters like Lauren Much. <laughs> Junie oh. so casually drops back, makes eye contact, and is just as like big telephone pole in the way. Much flies through again. Wow. Find space between Big Fang Fury and Brute somehow. 12 points so far. Oh, oh, Mush, get low. Seen that move a few times. 16 points for Mush. Crimson Wave still shoved in that pack. Um, Mush has like almost scored as many points as the Betty's had in the first half, in the second half alone. Wow. Had that 15 point jam, few jams back. 16 and growing now. Simone is playing some offense, but the high roller is solidifying right now. Much dropping. And Crimson Wave is through. Much in control of the clock. Yeah, they're in the lead. They're gonna they're going to enjoy every moment of this lead. Four more. Make that a 20 point jam for wow. Lauren Much. And that's a shutout jam against the high rollers, making the score 91 to 119 points. And hey, our score is a palindrome. Yes. It's like a 28 point difference. They were down by 30 points in the second jam of this half. Yeah. And now they up by almost that much. That is that is a huge swing. Spring roll looking for the outside. Oh, Polly. Polly up to the front. Oh, Nisbet Smith, Barry spring roll. There's the star pass to Ripley. Oh, Polly getting low. Damn low blocking. All right. Betty's will appreciate that. Second jam penalty in a row for the high rollers. Second consecutive jam, I should say. Ripley saying, wait, I'm a blocker. You want me to jam for another <laughs> minute and a half? Again? What are you doing to me? Two-minute jam, Ripley, no big deal. You got this. 
squaring up there with Alicia Nesbitt Smith. Oh, there Made goes. A, oh, oh, Holly. Out of the box. And just, I'm still here. Four points for Polly. Oh, Polly getting fast, getting low. Oh. Still 30 seconds left in this jam. Back. No pack called. And Polly back to the penalty box. Not what Polly wanted. Spring roll making contact there with Alicia Nesbitt Smith. Won't be enough to get that point for uh, Ripley. No, only three. So Polly got 10, Ripley got seven, 101 to 26. Slight win on that for the high rollers. Polly standing in the penalty box right now. And Danger Potato on that jam on Hawthorne jam line. No report yet on Polly's penalty. I think our penalty board is frozen. No, you, you are. Yeah. Oh, Danger Potato finds the inside lane. Nope, that Link is closed Link shutting that up. down. Is that Bruise? Who's that? Oh, Polly, Lee Jammer. Rodents of unusual size in the box. Star pass to Simonis, and Polly blasting through. Forearm on Simonis. Action packed. Polly not losing oh. any speed, but takes a chip off of Much and gets forced out. Great That's defense by Lauren Much. Known as an all-star jammer, but definitely capable of playing great defense. Definitely. All right. Four more points. The high rollers are not done yet. There are still 10 minutes remaining, 10 and a half minutes remaining in this game. Let's call that 12 points already for Polly this jam. And with 10 in the last jam, even though Ripley put up seven, that's that's a great momentum shift. Ooh, there's the force out. Simonis through. Oh. That's the initial for Simonis. There's Polly with the call Ripley off. Ripley is a block, or excuse me, much as a blocker is gonna know how, how delicate you can be, you, you need to be when you're making contact with a jammer. And I just saw much, you know, hit somebody out, try to skate backwards, almost making contact with a skater that was, you know, going in the correct direction and just so delicately, nope. Yeah. Stopped that momentum, <laughs> waited one moment and just swooped right on back, like super casual, knew exactly what she was doing. Yeah. Obviously. That's a 15 point jam for Polly. And we have a team timeout by the Bettys. This is a great momentum timeout. 116, 126. It's a 10 point game. Less than 10 minutes remain. My thanks to Laurelhurst Theater and Pub bringing the best of classic and modern cinema to Portland. It's Laurelhurst Theater and Pub. Going nuts here. And again, after this game, we close up shop for a little bit. Doors for the championship game at 7:15. Champs start at 8 p.m. Please join us. I'll be streaming here live with Mike Checks in tow. And I'll be on the. Uh, you get to look pretty. You get well, to do the stuff. I'm not sure looking pretty's in the car. I don't know. I still got a face made for radio. <laughs> Zing. Nobody saw it. It's all right, Root of All Evil. Yeah. Trinity looking for the front of the pack. Spring roll. Oh, direction to place on. Swagatha there. 
Oh, a high block. Yeah. Okay. Great no, turn. No penalty on Swag. Huh? Thanks. Okay. Well. All right. Well, all right. Sure. Hey, that was a quick correction by Bling. They're just really skilled officials here. Yes. Just trying to get that shoulder in there. Trinity just pushing hard. It's civil disobedience, I believe, at the right, and Ripley on the left, sandwiched in. Yeah, Trinity uh, digging in deep. Oh, looked for the uh, inside, but Ripley shut that down. Mayday. It's Root a lot of all of, evil extending. You know, I, I got to say, there's a lot of important coaching decisions that have to happen right now. And this is starting to be crunch time. I want to give a big shout out to the Buddies coaches, JT, Sprout, Wubs, and Little Tex. And on the high rollers, it's Rosemary's baby, Effie, and Bash. Behind the scenes, those kinds of decisions on call-offs and time management, they are going to make or break any game. Yeah, and spring roll lead jammer. And Trinity spinning out. Took a while to get lead. Yeah. Almost a minute and a half. Spring roll. And there's the call off. Spring roll got one. That's an important point. It is an important point, but wow. That was over a minute and a half for one point. That was some tough defense. 116, 127. Well, this is fun. Look yeah, at the is. line. Look at that. Oh, wow. Brute versus Lauren Much. They were both like little baby junior roller derby players around the same time, different leagues. Lauren Much being from like Be Bellingham, I believe. And here comes Brute picking up lead. First jam of the game, starting off with the star. Has received the star a couple times. Brute coming in hard and fast. Yep, takes a hit from Simonis. Junie's like, you didn't get my point. Take those three, but you did not get my point. <laughs> <laughs> I love that excitement from Simonis. Absolutely, pumped up. Now an eight point game, seven minutes left. Okay, I'm gonna go out and guess that uh, Sprout's about to call a timeout here. There we go. We, yep. Time to take a, a breather. Hey, if you're enjoying the bout tonight, maybe you're watching with friends, maybe you're a skater watching with other skaters, we'd love for you uh, to take a picture, tag us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter with the handle at Rose City Rollers. Show us how you love to watch our wonderful live stream. We're very privileged and fortunate to be able to bring a live stream to you. And again, thank you. Uh, I know a paywall is inconvenient, but it would not happen without you, you find folks uh, contributing. So thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, thank you very much. I definitely think you're getting your money's worth here. We got six, oh, yeah. uh, almost seven minutes remaining in this game. 119, 127, Betty is sitting on top. Ooh, Looking for their biter. first win of the season, and that would feel really good tonight. And that is Polly versus, I believe, Darth Molly. Yes, that is Darth Molly. And big pile up at the back of the pack. Polly grabs Lee Jammer. Darth Molly pulls the cap. Oh, trying to get the star up, but Ripley back on defense. Forearm on Ripley. Polly finding the outside oh. lane. Oh, just not, enough. Not, not quite enough from civil dis disobedience there. Got a chip, did not take out the whole thing. Forearm now on Ebenezer Bruce. Oh, using that momentum wisely, starting low, coming out high. Four more points. High Rollers making this game. It is tied. Oh, Molly with a defensive jamming, forcing up Polly. Oh, <laughs> swag at the. Worth it. I yeah. think there's a forearm call. 
Yeah, Swagger they definitely picked up that forearm. It, it, that, that was a forearm. <laughs> All right. Oh, three points there on top of those eight. That is 11 points for the high rollers, and I believe a that is a lead change. change. 130, 127. An official review being called by the Bettys. Okay. Lead changes. One, two, three, four, five lead changes this game, punts. That's a good game. It's a great game. And uh, they've been spread out lead changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Had a even better. The inning and then. And we have an official review. We'll tune in here. Tell you, I heard somebody use that poor KS joke on. Breakneck Bettys are looking to have the high block on the high rollers pivot upgraded to an expulsion. Wow. Whoa. Wow. They thought that uh, a high block that was assessed was that. Was that, that, was that the Swagatha. one on Swagatha? Yeah. Oh. I mean, well, Swagatha whether I agree with it or not. That's just good use of official timeout. Yes. The officials are going to definitely have to spend a couple minutes, and this is a good way to shift the momentum. Sure is. Give your team a breather. Mm -hmm. You're already down a, a blocker with the uh, foul out of Bertha Beatdown. You're down. captain. You're yeah. captain, indeed. We haven't seen Sci-Fi Curious since, so since the first half. They're sitting on five. Well, if if we have a moment, I, I want to give a shout out to the Rose City Rollers as an organization. They, uh, starting today or starting last night, have started collecting signatures to get a ballot on uh, uh, up for vote in this November's election here in the state of Oregon, um, and it's through Lift Every Voice and is in uh, to reduce gun violence, to limit the number of. Uh, the size magazines, number of rounds, um, and to require both permits and background checks that have a both a safety test um, and a live fire round of testing as well that I understand. And those last for five years and it, everything's really laid out and I'm just so proud of Rose City Rollers taking a stand and putting themselves out there. Absolutely. It's time. I signed that petition last night. Let's get an update here from Extra Crispy. Upon review, the call of a high block will stand. No egregious upgrade will be addition. These will not be uh, having any more fish reviews for the second half. There you have it. All right, Betty's lose their official review, but they I, got a three minute timeout out of it. They did, and they, uh, the answers always know if you don't ask. True. So here we go. We have five minutes, 45 seconds, and a three-point game. And we've got Danger Potato and oh, Brute. Brute. Brute put up three last time, but it was a really amazing jam against Much. Much out there as a pivot. Much with a force out and recycle on Brute. And there goes Danger Potato. Brute looks for the outside. Simonis is there. Comes to a standstill. Interesting that they're waiting right at the top of the apex. I guess maybe Potato is not the most j jumpy apexy uh, jammer, but that's a that's a vulnerable position to stop on the track. Yes. Uh, a few points here, four of them. Hey, that's a lead change. That's another lead change. Two jams in a row. Wow. Oh, and four there for Danger Potato. One thirty to one thirty one. We got a one point game. And we got Spring Roll up against Trinity. Spring Roll, very dangerous jammer so far. Oh, this is like the most exciting part of the game. You're exhausted. You've got players fouling out, and you have to be have a clear mind and stay focused. Wow. One point. Diana Hitch had given Spring Roll a sleigh ride. There goes Trinity. Trinity lead jammer. There's a star pass to Ripley. Ripley, third star pass to Ripley this half. And Trinity grabs four points and we have a lead change again. again. They're just swapping those four and O's. 134, 131. If you're drinking at every lead change, you may want to rethink Slow that down. strategy. 
All right, we got Darth Molly and Polly. It's only 11% alcohol. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Totally fine at 11%. That is what could go wrong? Powerful rosé. Darth Molly looks for the inside, doesn't find it. Directional play penalty on somebody. Polly, Lee Jammer. Woo! Darth Molly not too far behind. Oh, Darth Molly catching up. If Polly doesn't get MVP for the high rollers tonight, then I don't know what. You see ben Alicia Nesbitt Smith making a, a, a gesture to the wrist to kill time. Two, three, two points there. Two points for Polly. That works. Yeah. Now, five point game. Just about three minutes left yes. right now. Another heartwarming shout out to DJ Agent Meow with the perfect song for every jam of every game. Yes. Meow does know how to bring it. All right, we got Lauren Much and Crimson Wave. Betty's need to shove the dagger in, and Lauren Much is the one to do it. Oh, but Crimson Wave grabs Lee Jammer. Three Much in a row. on the heels. Oh, and passes. Much is so fast. You got a, the pass going so fast, the refs can't keep yeah. up. Been there. Woo, zero, zero, jam. Got a little, it was a sandstorm playing in the background. Keep your heart rates up. Yeah, team timeout by the Bettys. My uh, young nephew, maybe six years old, once asked Alexa to play sleep sounds, and instead it played sandstorm. And so my brother found my nephew like jamming out to sandstorm at like 9 p.m., which is like wildly late when you're a, a little thing. Right. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> That's good 136, stuff. 131, two minutes and 20 seconds left. Oof. Again, a high rollers one and two this season. A breakneck bet he's 0 and three and so close. Five points, six points close to changing the odds. All right, we got Brute on the line for the high rollers. Here's a fun fact about the high rollers. We haven't seen much of uh, Minstrel Psycho. Um, but Minstrel Psycho being the most senior skater at the Rose City Rollers. And Lady Gotcha, the newest jammer for the High Rollers, only 20 years old. There is a 41-year difference between the oldest skater on the High Rollers and the youngest skater. If you think you can't play roller derby, you're wrong. Yeah, that's... There is roller derby for you. All right, Brute comes out strong on the outside. Oh, Lauren Much grabs Lee Jammer. Of course she does. Why is she out there again? Because she can. Yeah. I mean, this is the point where you run much as hard as you, you can. Oh, much. I just, wow. Oh, no. Might have to call that. Yep. Yeah, much with yep. the call off. Zero points. That contact Brute. is incidental. Ah, oh, that's four points for much. much. Oh, one, one point. point. Wow. 136, 135. All right. So, uh, how much money you want to put on much being jammer again? For a third in a row once? Yeah. Oh, official review by the high rollers. They could put spring roll out there. Spring roll's doing good. Yeah, look. See, we got a official review now, this time the high rollers. I wonder what Bash is asking for. We're about to find out. Batteries. <laughs> All right, so we are not going to find out what this uh, is about. But Bash looks sly. Something, she's got something cooking. You got something cooking.
And now again, last time these two teams played, it was a 15-point game with the high rollers coming out on top. Well, now it's a one-point game. Much tight. And, and both teams are down, you know, arguably a couple of their best skaters. Yeah. No Gallifrey. No super sweaty Raven Evergore. Yeah, no Beyond Thunderdame. It's, yeah, that's uh, rough. That's rough. Haste, Dr. Betty's blocker 426. Upon review, we felt there was not enough contact after the jam to warrant such. The high rollers will not retain their official review for the second half. All right, so it's really hard to ask for a call that was a no call or to increase a call. Yes. It's easier to argue against a call, I think. Yeah. All right, well, that did end up being a two and a half minute timeout. This is what they needed, but hey, we still don't have much on the line. And They're going out with Darth Molly. Yeah. Darth Molly looks for the outside lane, getting the lead block from Nisbet Smith. Polly! Molly working in. Oh, Molly but here out. comes Darth. Asian the defense. Meow rocking ACDC. Yeah, you, you're, you're a happy camper. Inside! Yes. Oh! Molly! Sticks the landing! Minute 10 left. And it's a tie game! Three points for the high rollers, four points for the Bettys. The crowd is losing their mind. Three to four, that jam. And an official timeout being called. Wow, Alicia Nesbitt Smith was ready for that jump, came in with a powerful shoulder contact, but somehow. Molly used the, the, the force. Darth Molly is. Feet landed first, which is the most important thing. And they got those points, and I don't I, know if the high rollers are happy about it. I did not know that Sith could fly, but <laughs> wow. Nerds. Tie freaking game going into the last jam. This is what we live for, folks. If you're happy about this, go ahead and tag us, post on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you use, at Rose City Rollers. This is so exciting. Both of these matchups tonight are amazing. I love you, Meow! <laughs> All right, we're going to get back to it. All right, that is Trinity and Lauren Much. 51 seconds. Another official timeout, just kind of checking in. Clock check, maybe. Well, if someone's gonna get it done, it's Lauren Much. Trinity having a heck of a game too. Scored 36 just in the first half. And they're off. Much looking for the outside swag. The right there. Oh, Big Bang Fury, last it. one. Much, Lee Jimmer. Okay, now you gotta watch that clock. You can't just get it and call it off. It's not that easy. Okay, making it look a little easier than it would. All right. Trinity now out of the pack. Lauren Much now needs to get these points. Oh, Control much. that clock. The Bettys finally about to put one down in the wind column. Seconds left on the clock. Lauren Much in charge. Big take out there. Ripley said, so don't mess with my jammer. Much, I can score my points backwards, forwards, sideways, upside down. Let's call it 12. That'll be good enough. Wow. Ooh. Wow. 143, 151. Betty's. I, I needed Van Halen right now so yes. bad. Wow, 12 point jam there for Lauren. Much unofficial score, 143. No, make that a final puns. The Bettys have defeated the high rollers 151 to 143, and I have chills. That is great roller derby right there. Wow. Wow. I got nothing That's else like, but wow. I, yeah, that was the game I wanted to see that I didn't know was available to me. 
So congratulations goes to the Bettys and the High Rollers, both playing a fantastic game. Down a couple of senior skaters, but both pull it out and just bring us the best roller derby in the world right here in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, that was amazing, absolutely amazing. Here we go with the MVPs. First, we'll start with the Bettys. MVP Jammer, Trinity. All right, and then our MVP blocker is going to be Hit Diana Hitcha will be our MVP blocker. All right, excellent choices. Okay, high rollers, who do we have? All right, and our MVP jammer is Lauren Much. All right, and our MVP blocker this evening is Ripley. All right, give it up for our MVPs. We'll have a little photo up here. Everybody who has a wristband, you can hang around. Everything's cool. We'll get ready for the next bout. Thank you all for coming.